Thompson. In this week's talk with Comrades Coach Tom Ryan, we will be breaking down all the goals scored in last week's 18-10 victory against the Reading Rockets. We are here again with Coach Tom Ryan this week. Comrades coming off an impressive win, 18-10 against the Reading Rockets. Coach, uh, what we're going to be looking over here today? So, uh, as part of my weekly job, uh, I get a chance to look over the film. Uh, we normally have weekly video sessions where we go over some things we did right, some things we did wrong, and try to just give the guys feedback and so that we can learn from our mistakes and get better every week. And so, uh, here we're just taking a couple goals, both uh, some Reading Rockets goals and also some Copperheads goals, and talking them through to try to teach you guys a little bit about uh, this, you know, the strategy and uh, a little bit, hopefully, get a little more insight into the game of uh, box lacrosse. All right, let's get to it. So this first one here, uh, goalie makes a save and there's a quick outlet. Okay, as you can see, uh, this defenseman here went out to play the ball carrier. We already had a guy out here um, and somebody sneaking in the backside. Now one of the things you always have to be aware of is the box side. Um, there's people constantly subbing on and off. You almost have to assume there's always going to be somebody coming off the bench. And here we went out to play the ball without having support behind and we'll see what happens. Uh, that was one of the first goals for the Reading Rockets. Next play. So here we have Ethan Farrell in the corner. Uh, since a lot of guys are just getting on the field, it looks like the defense is not quite set up. Um, typically in, in box across, you want to take away the middle of the field, but when you're in the corner like this, you have no underneath help. And so here you see Ethan trying to exploit that situation and uh, got to the net for a goal. Just flew in there. <laughs> So here we have a kind of a flip pass. You don't see this much in field lacrosse. Uh, here, I'm not sure exactly who he was passing to, but here we have Jesse Guerin entering the, uh, the slot area. Um, basically, if a guy's cutting through that slot area, you gotta, you got to be on him, you got to have a stick on him, you got to tie him up. Uh, guys in indoor lacrosse are too good. If you give them a little space to catch a ball, they'll make you pay for it. And uh, that was either a brilliant pass or a lucky pass, but either way, it found Jesse Guerin for a goal. This is off a rebound, right? So, yeah, so a lot of times when you have uh, shots that are either miss the cage or an easy save, it turns into transition the other way. And I think we did a really good job in this game of, of uh, either off of uh, turnovers or off of shots. We got up and out and, and really created some offense for ourselves from the defensive end. Okay, that's Mark Burnett taking the ball away. Once again, got the ball up and out to Ryan Hotelling for another goal. So here we're on the power play. Okay, Ethan Farrell. Not the best ups, but enough to get him a goal there. Uh, you know, in indoor lacrosse, you're allowed to, to dive and makes the game exciting. As you can see, that back of that crease has a, you know, an abbreviated distance, and so it's actually a fairly high percentage shot to be diving from behind the cage. Okay, let's see what we have here. Next play looked like a bit of a turnover. I'm not sure what happened, but Mike O'Brien's got the ball up and got Greg Rogowski coming off the bench. We did a really good job of, of hustling on and off the field for the most part. Okay, here's a situation once again where we took a shot and are a little slow getting off the field, and once again it turns into offense for the other other team. That's a pickoff by Brian Welsh. He had 21 ground balls, three assists, two goals. Here, uh, Matt Hickman is the beneficiary of an interception by Brian Welsh. Here's Sam Bradman, his first game with us. Nice athletic and exciting play there. So as you can see here, you know, we had a turnover and we've got four guys kind of milling around there. I mean, I guess they have four guys as well. But on a situation like that, our guys want to get either off early or get back. But when there's a quick turnover, a lot of times it doesn't happen, especially when guys are jogging off the floor. Looks like we're doing pretty good, but it's actually uh, the fourth guy here has got an extra step on our guy for a goal. You know, things happen so fast in indoor lacrosse. Sometimes, you know, uh, jogging off the floor or on the floor is a difference in the goal. And as you see there, you know, it's a matter of uh, inches or feet. Uh, and that just was an opportunity that they were able to capitalize on. Okay, 
Okay. We teach our guys on shots to box out. Now, this is a situation. It looks like our guys took a look, and it looked like uh, Tory. We thought that Tory was going to be able to corral that ball, but it gets out, and uh, looks like Andrew Wasik gets a nice garbage goal. Once again, Brian Welsh picking up a loose ball here, and uh, Greg Rogowski hustling on the floor for another goal. So those are just a few goals from our uh, game last Friday night versus the Reading Rockets. I think we have a few more that we'll show to you uh, later on in the week. All right, thank you.